percentage he'll go for, for Kobe? I know we've talked to you a lot. How much have you seen him grow just in these you know, first few games and how excited were you? Yeah, I'm happy for him. I, I like seeing those guys get rewarded, you know, and OC, like Ivan got his the other night, Kobe tonight, OC gets on the board. We need that, you know, chip in scoring from the rest of our lineup. And he's done a nice job, though. He's a competitive guy, likes to make plays, can play with some offensive guys, and you see that, whether he's making the play or on the receiving end of it, he's got good instincts around the net. There was a lot of movement in the top six throughout the game. What were you looking for? What did you like or not like? Um, there was only one movement. His flip the centers. I yeah, watched. I mean, that because our, our first line was struggling to get something going, you know, on the offensive side of it, and then spending too much time in the D zone. It seemed like they were kicking the puck around, so I flipped the centers. Didn't work either. And then flipped them back at the end of the game, so... I'm not going to leave it the same. Like, I like to leave it, let them work through it. And then if they they can't for whatever reason, it's just not their night, then I'll let it go a little while longer and then try something else. How do you make sense of losing four and then winning five? I mean, we learned a lot of lessons in those four. I think, I mean, I, I, I talk to our guys about this. It happens all the time. It's not exclusive to us. It happens all the time. When you're losing, and you feel like you're not playing well, and you start digging in to start playing better, and you it's the attention to detail and the buy and the commitment that it takes to win, just doing everything harder and cleaner. And, um, you know, you're digging into every aspect of your game. So when you develop those habits and it comes around for you, you get a little confidence back, it tends to go that way, you know? And I think the guys, it did a really nice job. It didn't take them four games to get there, but we were a little bit unlucky in some of those four. Um, the Islander one is the one that stood out to me that I didn't like, and I, I was expecting a different response from our group, and then we started to get it after that, and we've been winning. So that's one big aspect is the team buy-in and the commitment to play the right way and do what it takes in order to win, even though it's hard. It's not fun all the time, and goaltending is a big part of it too. So it can happen the opposite way, too. You can get Absolutely. To yeah, you start to play. I don't think that was the case tonight, but you start to play, you get results when you're not necessarily earning them, and you got to, you know, sometimes even though you're saying it as a staff or as a leadership group or whatever it is, you know, you can get the mentality like it's fine, we're winning, we're, we'll be fine, and then the bad habits creep into your game, and then it... You need the wake-up call, someone beating you up pretty good, and then you get back to what you know it takes. Long season, so it's hard to stay just sharp and 100, you know, 100% all the time. You get two goals in the final minute of each period, the first and the second. I think it's the fifth time that's happened this year where you're scoring in the final minute of the period. Is that something you care about? I mean, are you just happy that they scored no matter just what? Just happy that they score no matter what. I mean, time, timely... You know, there's certain times when goals mean a lot, you know, like when you're when a team's pushing you hard and you're able to like. So I really liked our first period. I thought we could have built a two, three goal lead in the first with some of the chances we had. We had some really good ones again at the beginning of the second and some extended shifts. And then our game kind of went away. It's like we 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 didn't sort of everyone had their own playbook after that. So we're our execution was poor and then we spent more time in the zone and the frustration built in and then I didn't think we checked with the commitment that we needed to for portions of the second half of the game not all the time and we worked hard but we just our attention to detail and our execution of our plan in the second half of the game was not good but to get you know a couple big goals short period of time in the third period I mean obviously they turned out to be huge Still a 2-0 game, Molinsky and McCarr swapped briefly. What were you yeah. looking for? Well, Taser and McCarr were struggling. So Sam was having a great night, so we just decided to flip the pair. Same as with the first and second line. Did you tonight with uh, not playing so well the last couple of home games, and was there more pressure coming in, wanting to ride that high from the roadwinds? I think you're always, as a coaching staff you're always trying to get the urgency out of the players right and so whatever 
storyline you choose. Like for us, it's we've battled all the way back to 500, right? Now we have an opportunity to start building games above 500 with a win tonight. If you lose, you don't have that opportunity again to at least two games. So, you know, I think it's important that you're, you know, finding motivation to keep you playing. And, and you always have a certain motivation because this is what you do for a living. But I think like anything else that you can add on top of that, get, making this a difficult place to play, having a good start, you know, getting above 500 and start building that, I think it's important to our team. It's where we have to go to. Didn't, um, I mean, we, we, your top guys have carried the offense for much of the season, but you didn't like how they played tonight and you still scored five goals. Yeah, and they were dangerous all over the ice at times, you know, and they got us some big goals. It's, it's, it just wasn't like, it wasn't an amazing game by the, by those guys. They all did good things and it just, they were fighting it a little bit, mostly the execution side of it. Like, I think there was plays to be made through the first 40 minutes that we we didn't make, we didn't see, we didn't execute, and you know that that can frustrate, you know, skilled players, and rightly so, you know, because you you're seeing opportunities where you can go on the attack and create good scoring chances, and the play never gets to you. Like we were a little slow and methodical today when I felt like we should have been speeding it up, um, but it didn't look like we had great legs either after coming off the road and a day off. So it is what it is, you know. Like hopefully, I f usually this team's better on the second night like that we've kind of get in the groove a little bit tonight and we respond better tomorrow and hopefully that's the case with all the guys that you've been missing up front it seems like casey mills that's been the one that's always playing with the rookies or you know nate and miko are together so he's the one playing with guys like logan o'connor yeah and he still has 12 points in nine games i guess yeah. is there like an extra excitement to know that like hey he's eventually going to be playing with lekin and val yeah and Drew and guys like that yeah there is because it's it, and and even before that just to have him for last year, you know, and then see the work he put in for the summer. We know there's another gear this guy can find, another step he can take in his game, like his complete game, but what's going to follow is the production, right? And this, he's a super talented guy, and he sees things that other guys can't see, and he makes plays that other guys can't make. And uh, I think you get him with the, in the right mix, whatever that chemistry is, to be determined. You know, I'm open to anything in our top six, top nine, and uh, hopefully at some point we're going to get a you know, bunch of guys that are going to make those decisions difficult and then also make us stronger throughout the lineup. But I'm excited for what he can do. You know, he, you know those two guys are doing a nice job. That, that's been a really consistent line for us, OC and Kovey. Um, it's a different ball game, though. Again, when you start adding guys like Drew and you know Landy Val Lecky in there, that, that, that it'll be interesting to watch, and it'll take some uh, experimentation, I think, to find not just a line that works for him, but all three. I want to be able to work, or all four. Last First back to back of the season, of course, riding a five-game win streak, things are going well. But is there anything you want to see cleaned up in time? Game. Oh yeah, there's lots. So yeah, well, I just kind of explained most of it. So it's it like it's about being predictable to ourselves and playing our style and and then executing that style. Like it, it's a similar team again tomorrow. They're dangerous offensively. They've they're greatly improved on the defensive side of it. Um, same as Ottawa and yeah. So and there's a lot of similar characteristics to the way they play. Like I've already looked at Chicago. Um, so to be prepared for tomorrow. So a lot of the same messaging that we had tonight will go for tomorrow, and I know our guys will, will want to be better than that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Um, that's going to happen, obviously, and then um, I thought in the third we kind of got back to playing our game, and I was just forechecking, kind of yeah. making their detour and getting pucks on net, and um, you just made some big saves for us there down the line. What were kind of the messages you were getting from the coaching staff throughout the game that felt like you know, Kenny Miko and you line was kind of scrambled with, yeah. with Casey? <laughs> yeah, just again trying to find some things that are working. You know, I think. Um, Again, we had a good first period of the line, and then second kind of got stalled a little bit. So um, just trying to figure out some stuff that worked. We switched it up a little bit. Um, had some good looks with Casey and, um, and Miko. And then, um, you know, once the game got jumbled again, just going back to what we started with. So, again, that's going to happen throughout the course of the game, kind of just getting a feel of, you know, who's going, who's not, and, you know, who's going together and whatnot. Thank you for God, no, nobody understand. <laughs> uh, 
How did it feel that first one hits the back of the net? Honestly, I couldn't believe like puck cross line. So a couple seconds like really. <laughs> so you know, I think um, it's so easier like score if you play with the uh, NHL professional guys. So uh, like, can thank you for just good pass like. How do you feel about your game, just personally? How is it, you know, developing here over these first ten games? Mm, yeah, I just felt maybe a couple first game, uncomfortable. Just it's really just different game, like AHL. Everybody north, everybody play north. Nobody like stop like so. But now I'm just feeling good and we'll keep better every game. Do you have the puck? <sighs> Not yet. <laughs> do you, any plans for what you'll do with it? Hmm? Do you know what you'll do with it? Put it somewhere special? Uh, no. It's, yeah. <laughs> like, it's uh, my accident. Like. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you.